News is brought to you by The Y Factor. A good barber can be hard to find in Butler sometimes, but The Y Factor's got that problem solved. You can get the cut you want for about the same price. And guys, you won't lose your man card for going to a salon, we promise. The Y Factor's located next to Corner Hardware on Ohio Street in Butler. A pretty nice weekend on tap and even warmer for the first part of the week. Your forecast is coming up. There was a little excitement this week at the Bates County Memorial Hospital. While the situation might have seemed quite real, in actuality it was only a drill as personnel donned masks and protective suits while working through a simulated Ebola outbreak. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, known as CMS, require that hospitals do regular drills for situations like this. And Ebola was chosen because people are traveling internationally more often. According to Carmen Matter, Infection Control Coordinator at BCMH, Ebola is highly contagious and this scenario helps everyone be prepared for the unexpected. Participating departments included Infection Control, the Emergency Department, Emergency Management, EMS, Housekeeping, Safety, and Patient Access, Emergency Department Director Troy Trumbor and EMS Supervisor Russ Wisenand were instrumental in training their staff for these scenarios leading up to the surprise drill. This particular drill took several months to plan and the hospital will be holding more in the near future. While gun season's officially open here today, a local youth got a whopper of a deer last week in Colorado. Gabriel Neeson took this 300-pound mule deer that had an incredible 29-inch spread. The photo includes brother Hunter and dad Jimmy Neeson of Butler. As the holiday season approaches, a lot of things will be going on locally, so you might want to mark your calendars. Ladies' Night Out will be happening in Butler on the 25th, 5 to 9 p.m., with great deals on local shopping, some time to socialize, and have fun. And don't forget the Adrian Christmas Parade on the 30th and the Butler Christmas Parade on December 7th. Likewise, the Appleton City Christmas Parade will be the 7th as well. A little further down the road, there'll be a Christmas craft show at Kern Center in Rich Hill on December 14th. And to make sure no one gets left out, Bates County Toys for Tykes sign-ups will be today from 12 to 3 and next Saturday 9 to noon at the Butler Masonic Lodge. And don't forget the Codes for Kids program is now open. You can drop off donations at the DSWA office on Ohio Street in Butler. If you know someone looking for work, there's some jobs open in Adrian. The high school is looking for substitute teachers. Also, the Adrian Manor needs a director of nursing, an LPN, some CNAs, a cook, and an activities assistant. Apply in person. You can also call 816-297-2107 for info. The Rich Hill School District is seeking the public's input regarding long-term facility planning and use issues for the district. One of the issues the board seeks community input on is the question of what to do with the old high school building. You can see a video that shows the current condition of the old school building and fill out a survey by visiting the richhill.k12.mo.us website where you'll find a link to the survey on the left side of the page. In other school news, congratulations to Miami Students of the Month, Ava Bowers, Hannah Gillis, Caleb Nelson, and Charlie Chambers. And congratulations to Hunter Nelson of Adrian High School, who was recently honored with the DAR Good Citizen Award. And real quick, here's our Bates County Flashback of the Week. A flyer for Skyview Drive-In. This one is from the early 1960s. Skyview Drive-In Theater was located on Old Business 71 Highway near the current Butler High School football field location and was a popular place to go on weekends for many people for many years. The theater was closed and then demolished in the early 1990s, putting an end to a long-time Bates County business. In obituary news, Robert Collins, 77, of Rockville, passed away November 13th in Kansas City. Services will be 10 a.m. Monday, November 18th at Mullinex Funeral Home in Butler, Visitation will be Sunday evening from 5 till 7 p.m. Weather is brought to you by Right Choice Truck and Tire. We've got diesel treatment at a price for less than the big guys. And you might want to make sure your tires are good to go for the winter. Right Choice is located on the Butler Strip next to Casey's. Upper 50s today and lower 50s tomorrow. You can't beat that. We'll actually slip into the lower 60s by Tuesday. Then a cold front comes to visit later next week that'll push us back into the 40s. Likewise, we won't see overnight lows below freezing until midweek as well. There is a slight chance of showers tomorrow morning, and the next chance of precipitation will happen around Wednesday. That's your news for now, brought to you by The Y Factor. Have a great weekend.